right, hello wine drinking people. Time for more of what I've had to drink yesterday and you know how hard it is to sell a white wine tasting. It's even harder to sell a German wine tasting because people are confused about German wines. You know, they've, um, well, two world wars and uh, go, they were the most expensive wines on the planet. I think people's tastes have changed a little bit from dry to sweet, uh, from sweet to drier. And uh, these estates, some of the oldest in the world, this one goes back to 1605. Uh, Fritz Hag, and uh, wow, wonderful wine. So let me tell you, these are uh, classic Mosels. The QBA Riesling 2013, low pH, lively acidity. This is the entry wine. They call it QBA, and uh, they have 18.5 hectares, all on steep sloped, 70% grades. Wow, man, it is hard to work on grades that are that steep and uh, they hand harvest all the Riesling here. So these wines seem inexpensive when you look at the effort that it takes to make them this classic green apple, lime, citrus, a hint of orange zest on the nose, very light and crisp on the palate, nice minerality, a short but pleasant finish, a very good little entry level Riesling at 23.50. Then the Brown Burger Riesling Cabinet, and the classic way they used to describe wines is with the ripeness level when they pick Cabinet uh, being a little riper than the QBA. This is a combination of two vineyard sites, a little lighter, more feminine style, lots of slate here, a good amount of that crushed slate light rock showing on the nose, a nice touch of white pepper spice and green melon, lime citrus, juicy sweet fruit here, sweet tart, you get that lovely sweetness and then that tartness and uh, that tongue tingly acidity, that zesty lime citrus leaving the tongue salivating for food. Excellent juice, definitely a step up here in concentration at $30 and in price. Then the Brown Burger Single Vineyard, Joffre Sonner, and uh, this is spat lace, so a little riper, very steep vineyard site, and 7.5% uh, alcohol. That's how you know there's more residual sugar in this, but wonderful depth and balance due to the acidity. This wine's got a beautiful bouquet of lime blossoms, white peach fruit, and a laser-like acidity showing wonderful concentration of uh, sweetness, but again, lovely balanced finish, that creamy mineral shown at the end the slate character even bigger on the second day excellent juice at $45 and then the Jeff Sonner gold cap Osh lace and a little tricky whenever you see a gold cap on a Riesling bottle it doesn't mean it's gold cap but um, this one is gold capsule and wonderful concentration here. You get that lovely honey dried fruit, a little botrytis in this wine. Wonderful acidity in 2013. These are wines for the ages. I would love to try this wine in 20 or 30 years. It's got a solid core of white peach fruit, a lime citrus candy, strong aromas of crushed slate, lots of minerality here, some pretty floral notes, lovely concentration on the nose and that richness showing through on the palate, on the tongue, lovely creamy fruit and a long layered finish. 120 grams of residual hoo -ah, but a whopping 10.8% acidity, so that matches it beautifully, and uh, this wine will be around 20 or 30 years from now. Most excellent juice at $45 a half bottle. Sorry, they're not bringing in full bottles of this. I wanted Magnums. Magnums that last 100 years. All right, that's what we had to drink with our friends uh, from Fritz Hog Winery. I'm your host, Andrew Lampassoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.